Hey there, Sherm Twitter tweeps. It's Jeff Webb and Radical Recruit, and I am here with another Sherm Tool Time. Hold on to your seats. Hey, so last time uh, we talked about uh, and I showed you some screenshots. No screenshots today, folks, because uh, we're going to talk Twitter today. Um, we're going to talk about uh, some of the common terms that, uh, that you'll see in Twitter that confuses the heck out of everyone. So first of all, last time we talked about hashtags. Hashtags, and I'm going to put the symbols up around me here somewhere, but a hashtag, hashtag symbol is going to be up there right now. Um, and the hashtag is basically following a conversation. So here's an example. Um, hash Sherm would be following everything that happens around the sure conversations going on around Sherm and people will tag that if they have something common uh, or something as that they want to be part of the conversation around Sherm or human resources issues or recruiting issues um, there's many different reasons to use the hashtag Sherm so I actually um, stalk the Sherm hashtag just to see uh, I mean follow the Sherm hashtag just to see uh, what's happening in the world of Sherm so that's one of the common terms. I'm going to try and make this as quick as I possibly can. The other thing that you might see a lot is RT, uh, retweet. Um, that's if you like what somebody has said um, and you want to send it out to your audience, you RT it. Now if you change that, then that's a bit different. Then you say it's an MRT or a modified retweet. Um, and so, uh, so you'll often see people like my friend, uh, the recruiting animal often MRTs people's, uh, work. Uh, he shortens it up or adds, uh, adds, uh, more significance to different parts of the message. Uh, another common Twitter term that you'll see is DM. That's a direct message. So when you DM somebody, you're sending them a private message via Twitter that uh, only yourself and that other individual can see. Um, and on Fridays, you used to see a lot of uh, symbol uh, term called FF or Follow Friday. Um, and it's usually preceded by the hashtag hash FF. Um, and Follow Friday is basically uh, on Friday if you found people that you think your friends should follow. For instance, you could follow Friday at Radical Recruit. Um, then, uh, then you, uh, then your friends would follow that person on your recommendation. Um, there's a, a R T H X and that was, you know, my phone going off in the background because it's Twitter crazy. R T H S is a retweet. Thanks. Somebody retweets you may maybe reach out and retweet them. Uh, T M B stands for tweet me back. Um, that's a really easy one. And then there's a whole bunch of other, uh, common Twitter names. Uh, I'm just going to go through a few of them. F B stands for Facebook. So if you were talking about Facebook on Twitter, um, then you might use the FB hashtag. Um, IRL uh, is something that people will see a lot and they'll be like, what the heck does that mean? It means in real life. And so, you know, you may have friends who you've seen on, uh, met only via Twitter or on Facebook via social media, and you finally met them in real life, you would use the IRL, uh, IRL shortener to say, I've met you in real life, which is very cool. Uh, LinkedIn, L-I, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, OH or overheard, or you may see sometimes just hash overheard. Um, that's if you've overheard something, you want to tweet it out, then you may not want to uh, uh, attribute that to the actual person who's um, saying it, so then you would maybe use the overheard hashtag. Um, FML is frick my life, um, and uh, often though it's not frick, it's the other word, uh, the F bomb. Uh, and so, uh, just in case I wasn't making that clear enough, um, and, uh, and that's often used, uh, when something, you know, horrible has happened. The other thing that you'll see a lot is fail, um, you know, hash fail, F-A-I-L, 
Uh, that's if uh, if you really don't think that uh, you know somebody uh, some situation has gone on which you think was a huge fail. Um, if you think it's a really big fail, sometimes you'll see the term epic fail as well. Um, that's kind of uh, that's always an interesting one to uh, to play with. Um, so there's a whole bunch of uh, vocabulary on Twitter that because it's a 140 character um, uh, system uh, has been shortened. Uh, hopefully today I provide you with some. Uh, some sort of uh, some insight into some of the things that you're going to be seeing on Twitter. So go out there, you know, you you know how to sign up an account now. You know how to create a, use a client, whether it be TweetDeck or Seismic, uh, which was the one that I recommended. Recommended. You know what some of the language means. Start to tweet with uh, some of your peeps, um, and uh, I'm going to see you out there in the Twitterverse. This is Jeff Webb, or at Radical Recruit, and this has been a Sherm Tool Time. <laughs>